Goodbye 2020! Yeah! I doubt anyone is that sad to see a new year popping its head through the door. And because it is now 2021, I thought we should make some predictions about what 2021 has in store for Azure. Also, this definitely doesn't have anything to do with there being no Azure news at all. Now, I prepared three predictions for... What? What? Five predictions? Apparently, we have five predictions. Anyway, here is the first one. Because 2020 brought a very sudden and very large shift from office to home workplace, Microsoft Teams and other remote working tools have had a huge spike in development and usage. Just for Microsoft Teams, the number of daily users grew from 32 million in March of 2020 to 115 million in October. 2021 will only see this growth increase and Azure will have more and more tools to accommodate this, such as Windows Virtual Desktop. Now next up, let's look at the... Sorry, what? What was that? A new host? Introduce her? Um, yeah. Sure. Gwen is a fellow Microsoft MVP, Azure nerd, and has the largest collection of cloud computing branded umbrellas in the US, and apparently is my new co-host. So welcome, Gwen. Thank you, Lars, for that very warm welcome. I guess I'm pretty glad to be here. My first Azure prediction for 2021 is containers. I think we'll see a lot of work done in several Azure services to include or better support containers as a deployment option. I also think we'll continue to see Azure focusing on improving Azure Kubernetes services over Azure Container Instances. 2020 saw another 10 regions added to the Azure world map. Oh, or was it 11? Not only will 2021 see many more regions, both to decrease latency from more places and improve capacity for the ever growing cloud computing world needs, but also to accommodate governance needs and regulations for more areas. But it will go further than that. Projects such as the underwater Nautilus, 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 hmm, data center and modular data centers in containers show that Microsoft is serious about expanding cloud computing to as many places as possible. And if Microsoft is listening, I can totally fit a data center right here on my farm too. No, Lars, you can't have your own Azure region because serverless is all the rage, but I am sure you have all heard that already. In 2020, we saw the Azure team put in a lot of work in their serverless offerings like Azure Functions, and we even saw a news service, Azure Static Web Apps, that uses Azure Functions as a backbone. I predict that we'll be seeing more services better utilize and better integrate with Azure Functions and Azure Web Apps in 2021. Just like the recently announced partnership with Microsoft and ACG, the focus on certifications in Azure will also be front and center. The world is changing rapidly and jobs will change with it. Having an Azure certification is a great first step to a cloud career and Shameless plug time! Here at ACG, we have pretty good certification courses, especially for the AZ900 Fundamentals exam. I hear the instructor is just amazing. Because oh, it's me, so it's funny, I'm like, it's, I'm, you know. 2021 is here, and the ACG team will be right here, providing the best Azure news every week. Subscribe to our channel to not miss the weekly updates and a ton more cloud computing content. And if you're also a big fan of our new co-host on the show, give us a thumbs up. As we say on the A Cloud Guru team, when we meet the new year with renewed energy from a nice long break, seek and you shall cloud. Keep being awesome, Cloud Gurus, and join us in 2021.